Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to Standard MTG. This is a... I wanted to see if I could build Tribal in Standard. And then I looked at all the elves in Dominaria and M19. And I was like, okay, we can do this. Like, So I'm running Lanawar Scout, Vivian Reed, Lanawar Elves, uh, Song of Freilies, Thorn Lieutenant. And then I also got whooped when I played against Grixis Midrange. Because what does Grixis Midrange have? A lot of flyers, so I ran a place at a plummet. Now what I'm, uh, I am not running that you guys might be surprised about is Steel Leaf Champion. That's actually in the sideboard. Hmm. A lot of turn two plays that probably won't be the Lanowar Scout. My it'll I don't I still don't know what he's playing. Demir Surveil, maybe? Is that a cast down? Demir Surveil. That's not running the meta a lot. Then again we don't have much of a meta anymore. I'll probably play the th Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah. We'll smack him with the Lanawar. Yee. Take it, boy. Early damage. Uh, this <laughs> don't be Grixis mid range again. That enchantment. Might be a problem. Yeah, it'll also make a Reclamation Sage tap for mana, which might be helpful once we bring out Song of Freilies, maybe? <clears throat> Do I drop Song of... No, because I want to get Vivian Reed out, and that would happen next turn with no land draws. So we can get rid of that. I'm thinking way too politically. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Because now we can drop Song of Freilies. Ooh, I didn't. Ex I didn't think a counter. I'll take four. Trying to risk factor my ass. Yep, kill that thing. And now he's already down to our health. This isn't looking good for him, but wasn't from the start. We might not even drop Song of Freilies until, like, if we draw another land, because then we can just drop Vivian. And it'll be fine. Hmm. Unless he casts down our elf. Nickel Bolas? Ooh. 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 We need to kill him before that kills us. 
I think we drew basically the just the card to do that. No, we didn't. That can block. We'll probably drop Song of Fraley's then. Ooh, that was smarter anyways. Now we can drop a lot more things. Well, no shit. You're tapped out. <laughs> Two. Yeah, there can be an argument made that that's not good in a mono green deck, but I mean, Force of Will hasn't been in the format mat for fucking years now. Tap it. There we go. Oh, I'm glad Beat Siege likes my profile picture. Aw oh, man, he was talking to him. Not not an old cheesy boy here. I guess the point of elves is to go wide and if he has one per yeah. A trek combo, I don't know. How did he know? Dude can't be blocked. He's gonna get rid of this. Yep. Hit counter. She's gone now, I guess. Does he have another one? Don't have another one? Please. This factor I'm taking four. That 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 was a debatable move. Being at nine is not fun. But dying by a tret trata treta errata is not fun either. Sriracha is not fun either. Was he tapping to a four? Was he tapping to mana? Tap. Draw land. Mana dork. Three. We're definitely gonna want to tap Lana or Scout. Because he's just a two-two. Then we'll want to tap our more valuable Vent Sentinel. Now we get to. Whiff, no whiff, no whiff, creature or land. <sighs> that plummet would have been nice. Whatever, we get an elvish uh, clan collar, I think it is. Yeah, elvish clan collar. Revealing that boy. Although the pressure would be nice, I feel like waiting the turn would be better because that's when that ults. But this is a 3 4 now. Yeah, not doing it. <laughs> 